Hello and welcome to Maryville. I am Maryville winemaker Andrew Wright alongside Jeff Crawford on this fine spring afternoon. Um, and you know, I love spring in the valley. It's the perfect time to get into rosé season. And we are great, I am grateful and thankful that we have one of the best in the world really, in my opinion. Um, Jeff, why don't you tell us about the 2020 Starmont Rosé? Well, uh, I just want to start off by saying I think rosé season is all year round. That's but, true. Uh, but this yeah. is where it, uh, this is definitely where it starts to hit its stride when it's nice and warm out and uh, sitting outside, it seems just like a, uh, like a natural pairing. But um, uh, so the 2020 vintage of uh, the Starmont rosé is sourced uh, from Carneros, 100% Pinot Noir. Uh, primarily from the Lee Vineyard uh, down there, as well as our uh, Stanley Ranch Estate Vineyard, source some fruit. Uh, very minimal skin contact for this uh, for this wine, so just brought in whole cluster press. Uh, not much more skin contact than what it saw in the press for 2020. Yep. Uh, so uh, very gently handled and uh, looking for a little bit of extraction. Uh, of the color and then also uh, phenolics on the, on the palate, but definitely uh, that light kiss of, uh, of skin contact. The color is gorgeous. Thank you, appreciate that. And, uh, and you know, when, I, uh, when I'm making the, uh, the rosé, the color obviously is important on the final product, but it's not how I make the decision in the cellar as far sure. as how much I press or how much skin contact it sees. What I'm really looking for is that uh, that mouthfeel with the with the phenolics. I uh, I have the uh, luxury of being able to source vineyards, particularly for this rosé program, which means I'm able to pick at the optimal optimal ripeness for this program, yeah. which for me means a little earlier on, on the earlier side of Pinot Noir. So still nice, bright, fresh acid, uh, yeah. and a little lower alcohol content. Uh, uh, but all natural uh, uh, in here, and uh, just really looking for something with that nice balance, and makes you uh, makes you want to crave this in the uh, in the warm uh, spring and summer summer days. Certainly. For sure, I uh, I love this wine. We talked about you know whole cluster pressing of Pinot. I think people don't at least domestically appreciate how unique that is in American uh, rosé winemaking um, because of how much ro American rosé is sanye, um, and that's just typically. You fill the tank up with grapes and you're trying to make a red wine and then you just bleed off some juice and you make that into a rosé. Well, with that, the intention is not the rosé. Right. With everything that you've done here, you're specifically doing everything with the intention of, of crafting and creating a whole cluster pressed rosé. With the ultimate style of this kind of light, uh, light maceration, you know, light skin contact, uh, kind of lighter wine overall in mind uh, and so that's why i say it's a luxury to be able to source the yeah. fruit particularly for this program because uh, it's not one that uh, uh, all california rose makers are able to uh, able to do for sure to me it's it's uh it's almost synonymous with a really great provence rose it's got that super bright freshness to it piercing acidity um i do love the mouthfeel the phenolic texture is, is totally there um but this is just one of those great, great classic, I hate to say porch wines, patio wines, but also a great food wine because it right. is Pinot. And yeah. so it's extremely, extremely versatile. Yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, one of the things about that pick decision that I like as far as the fruit uh, uh, aromas and flavors that you get out of it is the, you know, uh, the, how I like to describe it, the watermelon a little too close to the rind. Yeah. Uh, That's great. Uh, you know, just kind of a little, a little tartness to it. A little under ripeness to it and uh you know strawberry a little more of the kind of greener strawberry not yeah. fully fully ripe strawberry uh totally. type of uh type of notes um and that's one of the things about this wine is that when you smell the uh when you smell the aromas you expect something a little uh a little brighter acidity there's not that uh not not that disconnect on uh, from what you smell versus what you taste uh, sure. in this wine is one of the things I'm kind of most proud of yeah. with the uh, uh, with making this rosé. Well, we're huge fans, obviously. It's uh, it's time to pick up a bunch because we're coming into the spring summer months. Got to go big. So we have a great deal on this wine right now. Go to StarmontWines.com. You can get uh, regularly it's two hundred and forty dollars a case. Now we're going to do two hundred and ten dollars a case. Or if you're in the wine club, 195 at a case plus uh, ground shipping. So a great offer out there. Uh, fill up your cellar now for spring and summer. 
If yep. you're not already, become yep. a wine club member. Now's the time. <laughs> no For time sure. like the present. All right. All right. Well, cheers, guys. Cheers.